Ever imagine sitting in a virtual meeting and actually feeling like you're in the same room with your colleagues? What if instead of staring at a screen, you're standing in a shared 3D space with holograms of your teammates right next to you? Well, buckle up, because today, we're diving into the exciting future of virtual meetings with holograms and augmented reality. Technologies that might just change how we work forever. 1. The evolution of virtual meetings. To truly appreciate where we're going, we need to take a quick look at where we've been. Just a few years ago, the idea of video meetings as a daily norm seemed a bit futuristic. Sure, video calls existed, but they weren't central to how we worked. Fast forward to today, thanks in large part to global events like the pandemic, remote work and video meetings are now a standard part of life. Zoom, Teams, Google Meet, they've become household names, practically overnight. But let's face it, while video conferencing was a game changer, it also has its limitations. Staring at flat images on a screen can be exhausting. You miss out on the subtle nuances of face-to-face -face interaction, the body language, the energy, the sense of being in the same room. There's a lack of depth and presence. No matter how clear the video, a 2D screen just can't fully replicate the experience of a real-life meeting. And this is exactly where holograms and AR step in. What if, instead of staring at a screen, you could be in the meeting? Not just with avatars or pixels, but with fully realized, 3D holographic representations of your colleagues? What if instead of passively watching someone share their screen, you could interact with floating 3D models and diagrams in real time, as though they were physical objects? 2. How holograms and AR work. To understand how this could be possible, let's break down the technologies at play here. Holograms and augmented reality. A hologram is essentially a 3D projection of an object or person that appears to exist in real space. Unlike a typical video image, a hologram has depth, you can walk around it, see it from different angles, and interact with it as though it's a real, physical object. In meetings, this could mean seeing a life-sized version of your colleague sitting right across from you, even though they're halfway around the world. Augmented reality, on the other hand, is about layering digital elements over your physical environment. Think of it as a blend between the real and the virtual. Instead of fully immersing you in a virtual world, AR brings the virtual world into your actual space. Imagine being in a meeting where important data points float in front of you, or where a 3D model of a product you're discussing can be manipulated by everyone in the room, regardless of where they are physically located. With the advancements in AR glasses and holographic projectors, we're getting closer to making this as seamless of our daily lives. Devices like Microsoft's HoloLens and Google's AR platforms are already pushing these boundaries, allowing users to blend the digital with the real world in ways that were unthinkable just a few years ago. 3. Real-world applications in meetings. Let's bring it down to a practical level. How would holograms and AR actually change your typical virtual meeting? Picture this, you're in a virtual meeting with your team. But instead of sitting in front of a flat screen, you're in a virtual space with holographic representations of your coworkers. You can walk around, chat with them as if they're sitting right there, and instead of static PowerPoints or screen shares, you interact with dynamic, 3D objects. Discussing a new product design? Instead of just looking at a 2D sketch, you can see the product floating in the air between you. You can rotate it, pull it apart, and get a hands-on feel, virtually, Think about presentations. Instead of watching a colleague drone on in front of slides, they could use AR to literally bring the data to life. Graphs could float around the room, and each team member could manipulate them in real time, zooming in on key figures or rearranging data to explore new insights. And for brainstorming sessions, imagine a virtual whiteboard where everyone, no matter where they are, can add ideas in real time, seeing them appear as if they're all standing in the same room. 4. Why now? The tech is ready. Now, some of you might be thinking, this all sounds amazing, but is it actually possible? And the answer is, yes, sooner than you might think. Major companies like Microsoft, Google, and several innovative startups are already developing the tools needed to bring these ideas to life. Devices like the Microsoft HoloLens and platforms like Spatial are already making holographic and AR meetings a reality for some industries, What's driving this rapid progress? One key factor is the rise of 5G networks, 
which can handle the massive amounts of data needed to render holograms and AR environments in real time. Another factor is the improvement in AR glasses and headsets, which are becoming more powerful, lightweight, and, slowly but surely, more affordable. As with all new technology, the cost is still a barrier for widespread adoption, especially for smaller businesses. But just as we saw with smartphones and video conferencing tools, what is expensive and niche today can become affordable and mainstream tomorrow. 5. The challenges ahead. Of course, no technology is without its challenges, and holograms in AR are no exception. Right now, the cost of advanced AR headsets, like the HoloLens, can be prohibitive for many businesses. And let's not forget the need for fast, reliable internet to support the massive data streams these technologies require. Slow or spotty connections could seriously hinder the experience. Additionally, there's the learning curve. Integrating AR and holograms into our daily work routines will require new skills and adjustments. People are used to traditional video meetings, and moving to this new way of working will take time. Not to mention, there will need to be advancements in the technology to make it more accessible to everyone, regardless of their technical background. But if history has taught us anything, it's that innovation comes quickly once the foundation is set. Just look at how quickly we adopted video meetings. AR and holograms could follow a similar trajectory. 6. What the future holds. So, where does this leave us? In the next 5 to 10 years, we could very well see virtual meetings transformed by holograms and augmented reality. Imagine a world where remote work doesn't feel remote at all, where you can interact with colleagues, clients, and collaborators in 3D spaces that feel just as real as in-person meetings. This technology won't just be limited to business. The implications are vast. Education, healthcare, design, and entertainment could all be transformed. Remote surgeries could be guided by holographic experts, students could explore historical events through AR reenactments, and designers could prototype in virtual spaces before ever building a physical model. The possibilities are endless. What once seemed like science fiction is quickly becoming reality. The question is no longer if we'll see holograms and AR in our meetings. It's when, as we look ahead, one thing is clear. Holograms and augmented reality have the potential to reshape not only how we work, but how we connect with each other. While challenges remain, the technology is advancing rapidly, and it's only a matter of time before virtual meetings as we know them are transformed. So, are you ready for this future? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. How do you think holograms and AR will impact your work or daily life? And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more insights into the tech that's shaping our world. Thanks for listening, and until next time, stay curious.